two, three. Hi, my name is Allison Nicolosi, and I'm one of the co-founders of AZ Husky Rescue. So, what started your love for Huskies? Um, it actually started when I was a little girl back in upstate New York. Uh, one of our neighbors had a Husky that was pretty much always tied to the tree um, at the house a couple doors down, and I'd always walk by him and see him, and he always kind of wanted to jump up and play and get close to me, but he never could, and I always wanted to help him, and so that was where it all began. And then once I moved out here to Arizona, it took a few years, but I eventually got my own Husky, and then the rest is just history. That's true. <laughs> What is your history and the history behind AZ Husky Rescue? Um, so I'm actually one of our co-founders. It's myself and one other person. We, we, um, I fostered with another rescue prior to forming AZ Husky Rescue. Um, we just kind of found a need, you know, saw a need. There were a lot, there's a lot of Huskies that end up in the shelters out here. There's a lot of Huskies um, we've pulled from New Mexico, from, uh, we've gotten a few from Texas before and a few from California. Um, just lots of high kill shelters out here and a huge need for uh, qualified homes. I'm actually surprised that so many Huskies end up in shelters. They seem to have the look that most people love. Could you explain what's going on there when it comes to Huskies being surrendered? Yeah, so we definitely have an overbreeding problem out here. There's a lot of backyard breeders um, that will sell them on Craigslist. People get them because they're the cutest little puppies um, and they'll tolerate their bad behavior when they're small. But then once they get big, um, so usually when we have Huskies surrendered to us by owners, they're around one year old. It's when they've outgrown their cute phase. They're crazy. They're destructive. They're hyper. They haven't been trained well enough and they just people can't make anymore and you know if you get them young enough and you train them they, be, they can become really great dogs it's just not everyone's equipped and you have to have a certain lifestyle you have to be active you have to be you know willing to take them for hikes and walks and willing to have some of your things destroyed when they're young you know so you have to prioritize the animal's life over possessions basically to have a husky out here how can people reach out to foster or volunteer with your organization yep so we're very active on social media. We have a Facebook page that's um, just facebook.com at slash AZ Husky Rescue, um, AZ like Arizona. And then it's the same on Instagram. Our handle is at AZ Husky Rescue there. Uh, our website, azhuskyrescue.com. We have applications to foster, applications to adopt. We have a foster to adopt program. If you see a dog that you want to, you know, try to potentially keep, um, then we'll work with you to make sure it's the right fit. Um, we do virtual home visits. So we try and get to know you and make sure it really is the right fit dog before we just throw a dog in someone's house. Along with checking in after adoption or fostering, are there any other trainings or guidelines required? Well, if we do have an adoption contract that people have to sign that um, is just affirming several things. And obviously, you know, one of them out here in the desert is, you know, your dog's going to be a part of the family. They have to be um, not just left in the yard all the time, especially because it's so hot out here with this breed. They need to be have access to air conditioning in the summer. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a lot of it's basic guidelines that most people um, with pets know to follow. So we don't, you know, it's not too crazy as far as requirements, but we definitely want, if you have a fencing, we want it to be six feet unless it's a dog. We know we'll be okay with five feet because Huskies are escape artists, <laughs> among other things. Um, just, and as far as training, we have several trainers that we do work with. It's not a requirement, um, but it's definitely, you know, if you get a dog in particular that has some, some special issues, we would recommend training. Can you plug your social medias one more time? Um, so you can find us on Instagram. It's at AZ Husky Rescue. AZ is in Arizona, so AZ the letters. And then on Facebook at uh, AZ Husky Rescue as well. Last question. You mentioned most of the time Huskies are being abandoned around ages one or two. And I think sometimes people have hesitation when adopting an adult dog. Can you maybe speak on some of the benefits to adopting dogs that are out of that puppy stage? Yeah, Just absolutely. I mean, I personally will probably never adopt a puppy again. It's not that I don't love puppies, but when you get an adult dog, you already know exactly what you're getting. You know any sort of behavioral issues the dog has. You know how they are with kids. You know how they are with other dogs. You know how they are with cats. You know everything about them already, really. And their behavior will only improve over time as they um, adjust to a home. So. I have a male that I adopted when he was three years old. He's now eight years old. Um, he had quite a few issues. He was a bit bitey when I got him. I'm not going to lie. I wanted him gone several times while I was fostering him. And uh, eventually he started snuggling in bed with me and I just fell in love with him. So my bond with him is probably stronger than the bonds I have with the ones I've gotten as babies. Um, so getting a dog from a specific age doesn't change the amount that you'll bond with them or not bond with them. Um, 
everyone loves puppies and I can understand, especially with cats and kids and things like that, some people will prefer to get puppies, but you also don't know how crazy the puppy's gonna be when they grow up and they could end up being too much for the cats and kids at that age. So um, it's kind of a one way or the other, you know? I, my preference is, is to get the older dogs because you already know any issues they're gonna have. That's perfect. Good. No, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Cool.